Hey, this is uh, Web Suspect, and I'm going to do a video on Sudoku. Um, about a year ago, I ran into Steve Waz, and he was working on a logistics project, and I asked him what he was playing on his cell phone, had some kind of app or something running, and he said it was Sudoku. About five or six years ago, um, I was doing some research on neuroplasticity and Sudoku, and... Um, this is kind of what Sudoku looks like. I've got an application on my phone called Sudoku Fun, and this is helpful because it gives you hints and it tells you if your solutions are right or wrong. So, <clears throat> Sudoku is a Japanese puzzle, and um, as you can see here in the top row, the numbers are ordered um, one through one through ten or one through nine. So there's nine numbers in a row, and you have to get um, all the numbers. Okay, so all but in this row, all but one number is solved. So you just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and you see that the one number that's missing in this row is two. So we're going to select that spot. We're going to put a two in. That's an easy one. Okay. Now all the twos on the screen will, will, will light up, and I'll tell you why that's relevant in a minute. But uh, just on number two, you can see that four twos are lit up, and you can calculate that approximately 40% of the twos on the puzzle are soft. Okay, here in this row, we have all but one number solved. And uh, this is called a weak point encryption algorithm. So we're just looking for weak points, and we're going to solve the puzzle just going through weak points. So we see every number in that row is there but a three. So we're gonna go to the bottom and we're gonna press three. <clears throat> and all the threes light up. And the same thing, approximately 40% of all the threes are solved. Okay, so now it gets a little bit harder. We have, in the right row, we have all but three numbers solved in the right row. And we'll look down on the top bottom and all but two numbers on the bottom are solved. So just out of curiosity, we're going to look at the bottom row and we'll see that um, all but two numbers are solved and we'll count them off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have everything but a three and a seven. And sometimes I'm looking at not paying attention and I'll get one wrong. So we need to find a three and a seven. We'll go up in the vertical columns and we'll look for a three and a seven. Right here we see a seven. So you can check your answers by looking for weak points in encryption in another row. And right here, we have to put a three because we can't put a seven because we'd have two sevens. And here we're going to put a seven because we already used the three. Now at this point, all the sixes on the screen, you can see the six is removed and all the sixes are solved. So if we click on six, all the sixes will light up and we'll see that there are nine sixes on the screen. Uh, an application really helps me to, to kind of check and make sure that my logic's working correctly. So I like an application, and uh, Steve Waz has talked about how applications um, can kind of be like a teacher or a helper. And this is an early view of, of that. Now, computers at this point, they don't have to talk to us and teach us anything and learn from us and learn our weak points. We can just kind of use them as tools. And that's what a computer is anyway. A computer is a tool. All right, so we're going to look again, vertical, horizontal. Usually I'll wind up leaning on one more direction than the other, and I have two rows solved horizontally, and sometimes you can tick toggle, it'll be easier. And then this row here, we have all but two solved in this row, so we'll count off again. And we have one, two, three, four, we don't have any threes, four, five, six, seven, and a nine. So we're looking for, nope, there's our nine. We're looking for a three and an eight. So we got every number in this row except the three and an eight. So first thing we're going to do is look, check the other rows. And we're going to look for everything but a 3 and an 8. And we don't have any. So we're going to go do another row. We could do one of the rows from the bottom here. We got 3 missing there. 
I'm three missing here. I, I think uh, Steve Jobs talked a lot about intuition. So we're going to use our intuition. I think this row here will be easier to solve. So we got um, one, two, no twos. Three, four, five, no fives, and no eights. So we're looking for a two, a five, and an eight. We got a two here, a five here, and an eight. Two, five. We're looking for a two, a five, and an eight. We can use a two or an eight here. I'm not getting a strong indicator. I think I want to put an eight here. Let's try an eight. Now this is where I could possibly get run wrong. Okay, so it's either got to be, it's got to be a five. Okay, so now we got two or five and an eight. Uh, two and a five and an eight. I'm gonna try the eight here. Could be wrong again. No, nope, it's a two. So I got two wrong right in a row. And of course the eight goes up here. All right. Uh, okay, let's keep going. Um, now, now we have two more numbers solved in this row. We could try again. We need a three. And what else? Three and a... Usually take me about 10 minutes to do one of these. Three and eight. Oh, there's a three down there. So we're gonna put an eight. And then up here, a three. All right, now we got the furthermost row here. We got one, two, three. You'll see patterns out there while we're solving a lot of threes. One, two, three, four, five, six. We need a five, a six, seven, a three, a one. No, we need a two, a three, and a five. So we got a two here, a five here. Now I'm starting to see here, maybe we should put the five right here. Nope. All right, um, the five's gotta go somewhere. It can't go here, let's put the five here. And let's see, two, a five, and an eight. We'll put the two here. Crap. All right. The three. And the two goes here. Now, just out of curiosity, we got a number that we can solve there. Fill that block, but that doesn't look real promising. Um, we need two numbers on this bottom row to finish out. One, two, three, four, five. We need two and a five. I wanna put the two here, probably get it wrong. Get a lot wrong today. And two goes there. All right, here we go. Um, let's do the top row. We do the top row where this row needs fours, or we could do this horizontal row here. We need a one, a four, and an eight. We have a one here, an eight here. Let's try four. <laughs> Man, I'm getting them all wrong today. All right, there's a one. All right, a four and an eight. Man, that's just, my intuition's way off today. I'll try four here. All right, that's gonna be eight. This one's gonna be a four. Uh, let's try the top row. We need a one, a two, and a three, a one and a two, a one and a two and a five. We got a five here, a one there, 
One, two, five, eight. We need a five and an eight. Let's put an eight here. Well, oh, intuition's one, two, a two, and the eight goes here. What the heck? One, two, five, three. I missed one. Two, three, four, five. I need the five there. All right. Uh, let's see here. Now we got this row here with three numbers to solve. We need a one, two, three. Okay, we need a three, a seven, and an eight. We got an eight here and a three here. Let's just try to reverse them. Probably not gonna work. Let's try to put the three there and the eight here. One, three, five. One, two, three, four, five, eight. It's gonna be a seven. And we'll put an eight here. <clears throat> all right. Now all we gotta do is fill this little block here. So we might as well go for this line here and that'll give us an even block there. And we'll go across the top first. We need a one and a three. This is gonna be a three, cause there's a one there. And that's gonna be a one. All right, now here we go up and down. And we need a two. There's a two there. And we need a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four. All right, now I've been working towards getting this little block here. We just have one little block to work on. And 80% of these rows are done. So we'll hit that row. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. We need a seven. And a five. So that's gonna be a seven, because there's a five there. And this one's gonna be a five. And we're gonna go for this row next. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. And see how there's all these numbers open here, and as we go in this way, from a different angle, you get more numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's an eight here, so the eight would go here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine goes here. And then we just have these three numbers in the bottom, and we got the whole Sudoku puzzle done. Taking longer, get more answers wrong than ever before. Uh, but I'm making a movie, movie at the same time I'm talking, so. All right, so if we go this way, we just count the numbers this way, we have a 70% chance of solving the puzzle, but if we go up and down, we get 100%. So we'll just go up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right there, we need a seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here we need a four. And the only tile left on the puzzle is an eight. So we'll just put eight there. It's the only number it can be. And that's it. That's how you do the Sudoku. Leave your comments below. Yeah, I'm gonna get no stars from this. <laughs>